Hi, I'm Ben. This is Emily. This is Alan, and this is our home, a 56-foot narrowboat that we travel the UK canals and rivers on. Recently, we bought a second boat. It's a project boat, and we will slowly renovate it into an extra space. Join us for the ups and downs of boat life as we explore the UK via its waterways. So we're still in very pretty Orawas here on the Trent and Mersey Canal. So yesterday I bought Alan a new bed, which for the first time ever I've bought her something and she actually likes it and uses it. I think we mentioned the other day that we got a new camera, it's like a little action camera. I popped it on Alan's collar yesterday. So before you head over to Benny's boat, here's a little clip of Alan Cam, as some of you on Instagram are calling it, which I think is brilliant. I think some people think she should have her own YouTube now. <laughs> anyway, let us know what you think about Alan Cam. Benny's been doing bits and bobs in the new boat most days, but they're sort of little jobs that aren't really that interesting to film, so he's sort of just getting on with them. But I think he's gonna show you some stuff today. Go and join him in the little boat for, for some work. I don't actually know what he's doing, but um, you'll find out. Let's do some painting. Okay, well that's almost done. What I'm doing to get the edges looking nice is I've just discovered that if you crease the masking tape at the angle that you want it, like that, when you pull it back, I don't know if you can see that, but it actually leaves a lighter mark, which then you can cut with the scissors. It gives you the exact angle that you want, which is nice. That's satisfying, Benny. Yeah. So are these lines going to be yellow? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I, that's my plan, but I'm a bit scared of it because I've never done that before. And you can always leave it light grey. <laughs> yeah. But there's all the, the crappy edging from when it was done before. That's the problem. Yeah. about you, Gunnels? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's too much. Yeah, me. We're, we're debating whether this is I too much. I think one part of it is it's too, green, red, green is a bit too much. Also, I feel like the red is a stronger paint because it's enamel. And it, I feel like because that's going to get a lot of wear on the Gunnels. Yeah. I think this green, because it's, you know, it's not an enamel paint, it doesn't seem quite as hard wearing already. So it could actually just be more practical to uh, yeah. to do that. I think I think do it red. And the, the thing is, 
if I wanted to change it now, I don't actually need to mask it because it's red on both sides anyway. Yeah, you can so just that's get it. it on, can't yeah, you? so there's not as much messing around. I've got some in my eye. <laughs> so my friend's going to cut a hole for some air vents because the BSS guy advised that I need to have some vents in the lower doors. It's quite surprising it doesn't have them already, but it does. It's never had a wood burner in it, I don't think. So that, maybe it's that's got why. Vents, hasn't it? But not. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Thanks, Keith. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm turning the gunnels red. I'm turning the gunnels red. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah. That looks better already. What do you think, Keith? Green. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> For God's sake. No, that definitely looks better. Yeah. Yeah, that, 100%. That looks better. Uh, yeah, that looks better. 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 Yeah, looks cool. Mm. Right, well, I'll, I'll mask it and do it properly for the last bit. <laughs> that is right. Yeah, that nice. Right, yeah. Nice one. Good idea, Keith. I've been using the Jackery whenever I'm using power tools in here. Obviously there's no electrics yet, nothing that I could power power tools with. So whenever I'm using jigsaw or sander or charging batteries for the circular saw or drill or multi-tool or if I'm charging my phone in here, Jackery's doing it. It's brilliant and it's great, it's just a handy size that can lift it in and out and get it charged easy enough. I've already started some basic wiring. I've got two leisure batteries leading to an isolation switch which leads up to the fuse box and I've got a bus bar. But what I want to do now, yeah, make a slightly larger door so that I can put the fuse box in and have the solar controller which is the thing that it shows you how much power you're getting in and it helps to distribute the energy you get in. Um, so I'll show you what I've got so far. So at the minute I've got quite a small hole there, but it's going to be behind a door. And I've glued this wood to the other side, which is like the wall of the boat, the steel wall. Yeah, I want to get the fuse box in and the solar controller, so I'm going to take this off, have a look at it, and then make the alterations that I need to make. I've moved a few things around and got the solar controller in there, which means now I can get an idea of the size of the door that I want to put on for this little electric area. Okay, so there is my new entrance I've created for the electrics area. Now I need to put a door on it, so let's have a go at that. Okay, so I've made the hole and now I have made a little frame for the door to sit on. I'm going to get it varnished eventually, letting the wood glue dry on it. I'm going to make a door while I'm waiting for that to dry.
You can find out more about the Jackery in the description. There's a link there too. We've had ours for almost a year. It's been a real lifesaver. Okay, that's the, the door made. Didn't take too long. But I quite like it, I quite like the shape of this thing. This is where it's gonna go. Just on here, still a bit more varnishing and stuff to do on that. Well, it's five o'clock, that is it for now. So I'll see you later. We are still in Oroz and Benny is still painting the boat, but today he's painting the roof. He's gone for ivory, I think, like a creamy sort of color. <laughs> really exciting news, we've got a new toilet seat. But the one we've got is pretty horrible. Um, like the, the fittings, the hinges have all gone like really rusty and horrible. So we've got one with stainless steel fittings this time. And the idea is that we're gonna be rebuilding our toilet. So we've got a separator toilet that Benny made about two years ago. So yeah, we're just gonna change the loo a little bit. Uh, that's my job. I, I'm feeling quite inspired by all Benny's DIY on his boat and I wanna do loads in here. Like replace the floor throughout the entire boat, which is going to be quite a task. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna use laminate or lino or solid wood. I just, I just don't know but that's not happening yet. Still got quite a few things to do to this boat. Another one is like replace the hatch doors on the inside, but watching watching Nomadic Crowbot kind of put me off doing our hatches because they look like such a massive hassle. But yeah, we've been really busy. We've had a look at the winter closures for this year. I think we've told you that we're still heading down south and we're wanting to be on the South Oxford Canal for winter, but there is a closure on one of the Napton locks, which is kind of one of the first locks that we're gonna to get to when we get onto the South Oxford Canal. And there's a closure on that on the 6th of November until the 22nd of December. So it's roughly, is that about six weeks or something? And it is now, I think the 10th of October. We have obviously got the choice of trying to get there, try and get past that closure um, before the 6th of November. But we really don't want to rush anymore. <laughs> I'm so fed up of rushing. And also because we are so busy at the moment, you know, Benny's recording music, making music, building the boat. Obviously that's the big, big project at the moment. We've got videos to edit and move the boat. It is a lot. So I think the plan is to just not worry about that closure. And if we get stuck on that side of it, it doesn't matter. Apparently Napton's really nice. We've obviously got the van so we can, drive around, we can go to Cropredy or Banbury or wherever we want in the van. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. It doesn't really feel like October, does it, Benny? It's so warm. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going with a cream colour, aren't you? Ivory, it's called. Yeah, I think I might leave that front quarter green. Oh, really? For now, yeah. Just so I can get the rest of it done. Yeah, because you just want protection, don't you? it might look pretty you? cool. So you're thinking maybe if it was all green with the roof green, it might look a bit too much. And so. also it'll be really hot in summer with a green roof. Whereas if I have cream, that'll keep it cool in summer. But with just a quarter of green at the front, that'll give me enough <laughs> winter heat. Okay, I've, I've done the maths on this one, so no point contesting it. <laughs> oh, it's got a lot dusty. of dust off. You've got your tack cloth. I've got my tack cloth, but I went to B&Q and got loads of stuff and then come back and instantly run out of masking tape. No! Good masking tape. How cute is Rambler looking? And so I you're going to put the headlamp on it. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. But oh. I've not wired it up yet. But New headlamp. If, depending how well I do, I might get it wired up today. Nice. Oh, it's a cute little lamp. 
Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I got that oh. from, I got that from this ch chandlery at Shobnall Marina. Nice. Yeah, she's looking really cute. You've done a good job. And they Thank match. You. Apart from you can't see, it is actually that green, the same green in here. I took a photo on my phone and I think the phone like changed the colour balance because it looked like a really bright grass green. But I don't know if this yeah, camera will quite, do the same. It is quite a muted green, it's called it's, bronze it's green. It's quite a dark green, bronze green, yeah. I think it's lovely. Are yeah. you happy with it? Oh, I love it, yeah. It's quite quite retro in a way, isn't it? No, that's I was hoping it would be. It's not like super modern, which I'm, I'm I think really suits your style. I'm putting this cream on because yeah. I'm really hoping it's just going to finish it off nicely. Yeah. And it's going to make it look even more retro. Nice. It's a very warm October day, as the day's progressing it's getting warmer and warmer. But now I'm going to paint the coach line on the side, see how it goes. Watch the tall grass meet you, almost every day. Sky draw pictures. That's where I'll stay. Floating on the golden glow of the voice who inspires me. I have chose not to feel Wow, it's so retro, I love it. There's Alan, she just tried to beat up a dog. Why are you so horrible to dogs? <laughs> you going to check out what Benny's been up to? No. So while the paint's drying, I'm knocking that over. But apart from that, I have been drilling a hole in the front of the boat so that I can wire up the headlamp and the horn that I've purchased. So I've drilled a hole there, it's leading outside and I'm running these two cables to get an idea of how long I need it to be and I'm cutting it off and I've fixed these ends on with a crimper. I'm going to put the male ends on at the end of these when I get them through. I have a grommet for that that fills the gap but it's not quite right so I might end up just fillering it well not filler using the uh, Sikaflex Are you done for the day? Yeah You've done a lot Really? <laughs> yeah it's been a productive day painted the roof painted a coach line and I've wired up a bit more of the headlight and the horn as well actually it's all up through on the front now, have you seen? Yeah, headlight so and horn. Put a switch on them both. We're yeah. having jacket potatoes for dinner. Yay. Haven't had that for about four years, I don't yeah. think. Well, maybe we'll call it a day. Mm. Night, guys. We'll see you very soon. I know we promised Emily's bed building this week, but you'll have to wait until next week for that one. Also, I open a very exciting parcel that's been delivered. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's video. Massive thanks to the patrons and everyone who bought us a coffee. See you next week. Bye.
was chanting so to let the evil out. Save me from myself, I'm sinking, dive into my mirrored ocean, waiting wise into Say 